Welcome to Bible Stories, where we explore intriguing historical mysteries and fascinating revelations connected to the Vatican. In this video, we delve into the 10 most mysterious secrets of the Vatican, ranging from ancient aircraft designs and enigmatic documents to remarkable relics and controversial historical events. Join us on this captivating journey as we uncover hidden stories that intertwine faith, history, and intrigue. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave a like, comment your thoughts, and share this video with your church group, family, and friends. The Vatican, the central hub of the Roman Catholic Church, and the papal seat is renowned for its extensive historical, cultural, and spiritual riches. Yet concealed within its grand architecture and fortified walls lies an aura of enigma enveloping the Vatican's concealed mysteries. Among these mysteries is the undisclosed content of the Vatican's secret archives, housing ancient documents and papal communications spanning centuries, which have been withheld from public view for many years. While access to these archives is heavily restricted, there is widespread conjecture regarding their potential contents, ranging from insights into pivotal historical events to records of historical disputes and controversies within the Church. Although much of this information remains obscure, sparking conspiracy theories and conjecture, it is indisputable that the Vatican harbors a vast repository of history and knowledge, continuing to captivate and intrigue people globally. Delve into the ten most mysterious secrets of the Vatican. In 1307, the Knights Templar were arrested and subjected to torture on charges of heresy and misconduct, marking a significant controversy of the medieval period that has been debated over the ages. The French monarch of that time, Philip IV, was accountable for the torture of the Templar leaders. The specifics of the Templar trial were veiled within the Vatican's secret archives, revealing the true events leading to their demise. Recently, the Vatican released transcripts of these heresy trials in limited edition volumes, consisting of 800 leather-bound copies. However, these volumes were swiftly acquired by private collectors, libraries, cultural institutions, and prominent figures worldwide raising questions about their motives. Historians agree that by the early 14th century, the Knights Templar had amassed considerable wealth and influence, making them targets for elimination. They were accused of corruption as a pretext to dissolve the secretive order, enabling King Philip IV to settle his debts with them. Amid these false accusations, it is rumored that the Vatican houses designs for the world's initial aircraft, a remarkable secret kept concealed for centuries. Bartolomeo Lorenzo de Guzmão, a 16th century Brazilian inventor, is credited with these designs. Guzmão introduced his vision of a flying machine to the King of Portugal in August 1709, using a small paper balloon and a candle to demonstrate his concept of a hot air balloon, which was successful. He envisaged constructing a colossal machine named the Passarola, resembling a giant bird filled with tubes powered by fire to soar across the globe. Guzmão lived in the 17th century, during which he was perceived as somewhat of a magician in Portugal, and fearing persecution by the Spanish Inquisition, he destroyed all his documents and ideas before fleeing the country incognito. He passed away in 1724 without seeing his project come to fruition. Nonetheless, the concepts underlying his machines endured and it's believed that some copies of his designs are still archived at the Vatican. Intriguingly, his flying machine served as inspiration for the first successful hot air balloon flight in 1783. The three secrets of Fatima consist of apocalyptic visions reportedly revealed to three Portuguese shepherds, Lucia Santos, Jacinta Marto, and Francisco Marto, in 1917. These children claim to have encountered visits from the Virgin Mary, subsequently known as Our Lady of Fatima, 
According to accounts, the Virgin Mary imparted three secrets to them, which were disclosed much later in 1941 at the Bishop of Leria's request. The third secret, penned by Lucia in a sealed letter to be unveiled only in 1960, was eventually disclosed by Pope John Paul II to the public in 2000. Before this revelation, it was believed that the three secrets were housed in the Vatican as manuscripts authored by Lucia Santos herself. Despite the public unveiling of the third secret, suspicions arose that the Pope had concealed part of it, fueling claims that the truth about Lucia Santos's notes is still closely guarded by the Vatican. These secrets encompass a vision of hell as the first, a prophecy of the conclusion of World War I, and the commencement of another war as the second, and the third and most secretive one addresses the persecution of Christians in the 20th century. Nonetheless, controversies persist regarding the true content of the third secret to this day. Rumors have circulated for centuries, suggesting that the Vatican holds the world's largest collection of adult material. These claims date back to the Renaissance era, with assertions of inappropriate drawings and relics allegedly in Vatican possession. Modern-day rumors continue, proposing that a significant cache of adult artifacts, films, photos, and related materials is housed in a secret room within the Vatican. However, these notions are widely dismissed by experts, with reputable sources labeling them as entirely false. The Vatican museums do contain suggestive artifacts, but all are of historical significance. Despite the vast number of academic books and manuscripts in the Vatican Library, estimated at over 1.5 million and 150,000 respectively, there is no evidence to support claims of explicit content. The origins of these rumors and their widespread belief remain unclear, but it is widely accepted among experts that they lack foundation. Father Leonard Boyle, former head of the Vatican Library until his retirement in 1998, adamantly refuted these claims, asserting that he had never come across any evidence of such material within the Vatican's holdings. One of the Vatican's most intriguing secrets is an ancient Chinese scroll dating back to 1650. This rare document stands out in the Vatican's extensive archives, which hold relatively few records from Asia. The scroll, written on silk by the Chinese Dowager Empress Wang, also known as Helena, after her conversion to Catholicism by Jesuit priests is a remarkable artifact. Besides being one of the few empresses of China, she also became one of the few to embrace Catholicism. Enclosed within an ornate bamboo tube featuring the image of a black dragon, the scroll recounts the story of the empress fleeing the oppressive Qing dynasty and seeking aid from the Pope, Popey Innocent X. Unfortunately, the Pope passed away before he could grant her an audience. It's fascinating to ponder the potential diplomatic and cultural implications if a relationship had been established between the Vatican and China during that era. Galileo, often regarded as the father of modern science, faced a trial by the Roman Catholic Church over 350 years ago, during which he was perceived as a sort of malevolent sorcerer. Galileo revolutionized scientific understanding by asserting that the Earth is round, orbits the Sun, and is not stationary or the center of the universe, directly contradicting interpretations of sacred scriptures. These views led to his investigation for heresy by Pope Urban Fett in 1633. Under threat of torture, Galileo was compelled to publicly retract his statements. This event marked a significant setback for scientific progress and societal advancement. The transcripts of this trial were kept secret within the Vatican for nearly 350 years until the Roman Catholic Church recently began disclosing all documents related to Galileo's condemnation, acknowledging their error in considering him a threat. 
However, this disclosure raises questions about what other historical truths might still be concealed in the church's archives. Some extraordinary claims suggest the existence of a time machine known as the Chronovisor, hidden within the Vatican. It is alleged that a man named Father Pellegrino Ernetti was involved in creating this machine, purportedly used to observe historical events such as the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Yet, there is no concrete evidence anywhere in the world to substantiate the existence of any form of time travel device. The chronovisor, envisioned to allow users to witness various historical periods, remains scientifically unproven. Claims made by former Vatican priests regarding the chronovisor have been widely discredited. The possibility of time travel and the potential existence of a chronovisor, even in the future, remain subjects of speculation and science fiction. Among the Vatican's unique relics is a vial of blood believed to belong to St. Januarius, the patron saint of Naples. In 2015, during a visit to the Cathedral of Naples, Pope Francis kissed the vial containing the dried blood of St. Januarius, and miraculously, the blood liquefied. This event was seen as a sign of St. Januarius's love for the Pope by thousands of witnesses in the cathedral. Pope Francis explained that the partial liquefaction of the blood symbolized the saint's partial love, urging believers to strive for complete devotion. Although this event is rooted in religious belief, it holds profound significance for many followers. The vial of blood is considered a highly prized relic in Naples, with the belief that St. Januarius intervened to avert a major eruption of Mount Vesuvius in the 5th century through his prayers. Despite lacking scientific proof of supernatural properties in the blood, its importance in Catholic faith remains unquestionable. The relationship between the Vatican and the Nazis during World War II remains a contentious topic in history. Under Pope Pius Theophanes' leadership, the Catholic Church largely remained silent while millions of Jews perished in the Holocaust, regarded as a significant moral failure. Speculation suggests the Pope refrained from condemning Germany out of fear of repercussions, envisioning that if Hitler triumphed, he might influence the selection of the next Pope. Some even claimed Pope Pius XVI was sympathetic to Hitler. Historical records detailing the Pope's actions during the war were kept in the Vatican's secret archives for decades. Recently, the Vatican chose to disclose some of these documents for analysis by historians in an effort to address its tarnished reputation. However, this revelation further raised doubts about the Vatican's conduct during the Holocaust. Despite being the world's smallest country, with a population of only 1,000 people, and an area of just 110 acres, 044 square kilometers. The Vatican holds numerous secrets. One visible secret is the Passetto di Borgo, a secret tunnel serving as an escape route for popes during times of danger. This 800 meter long tunnel runs along the ancient city walls, linking the Vatican Palace to Castel Sant'Angelo, Constructed in the late 15th century, the Passetto was first used by Pope Alexander VI to evade an invasion by King Charles VII of France. It played a crucial role during the sack of Rome in 1527, allowing Pope Clement VII to flee while most of the Swiss Guard perished defending St. Peter's Basilica. Despite knowledge of this one secret tunnel, the existence of other hidden passages beneath the Vatican and their destinations remains a mystery. What relics might be concealed within the Vatican's secret archives? Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the Vatican's mysteries. We've only scratched the surface of these intriguing secrets, each revealing a unique facet of history and spirituality. To continue discovering captivating stories from the depths of religious heritage, make sure to subscribe to Bible Stories. Don't forget to leave a like, share this video with your loved ones, and leave your comments below. Your support helps us bring more fascinating content to you. Until next time, may you continue to seek knowledge and inspiration from the stories of our past.